but this is Pastor Marcus again. I'm just making a quick video. Uh, basically, I just want to let people know about the true doctrine of Jesus Christ because it seems like everybody is forgetting about the doctrine of Jesus Christ and they're coming up with their own doctrine, what they feel what the word of God is about or, you know, misinterpreting the, the word, the scriptures and having their own understanding as Christ told us, you know, do not lean out on your own understanding. But, um, it's basically, and it narrows down to this. The doctrine of Jesus Christ, it's simple and it's sufficient and it's for everybody to understand. The doctrine of Jesus Christ is basically this. That you know that Jesus died for your sins that you know that he comes to be a mediator between God and man to do the works, to follow him, to follow him. The only way to get to Jesus, to, to God, is through the Son, which is Jesus, right? So, like um, Catholics, right? Let's just take them for an example. They believe in the Virgin Mary and they believe in uh, uh, the only way to get uh, to, to God is through Mary. and But that's false. And any other religion is false because there's only one way to get to God, and that's through the Son, which is Jesus Christ. It's only begotten the Son that He gave His life, so therefore we can live. You know, He He paid the price for our sins, and this is what He's done for us because He's a good God. And the doctrine also is that you know. If you repent, that you will be forgiven. That you do the deeds. Faith doesn't work without deeds. In the Bible, say you can have, you can move mountains, just have faith as small as a mustard seed. He given us the authority to be able to heal the sick, cast out demons, heal people with diseases. And that's why a lot of pastors today can't even heal nobody with coronavirus because they ain't they not operating authority and they don't have enough faith to be able to do that. And so they're afraid that they can, that they can lay hands and say, you know what, uh, coronavirus, uh, uh, flee in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed. They don't believe in that no more because they don't believe in the doctrine of Jesus, Jesus Christ. They believe in social media. They believe in what their friends say. They believe in following uh, 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 all these other pastors or religious leaders and stuff like that, fi uh, 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 figuring that they can lead them to the promised land, figuring that they can save them. No, you, I'm a pastor and I, I can't save you. My job is to encourage. I'm just a vessel. My job is not to play Savior and to play God. I'm not here to do that. You know, follow Jesus. Don't follow me. You can follow my, you can follow my examples. But I'm just a pastor. I'm nobody better uh, better than you or, or above you. I'm just like you. I am just have the title of being a pastor. And then too, the doctrine of Jesus Christ is to love your brothers and sisters. To study to show thyself approved. To spread the word. Spread the gospel. Uplift. Help a brother in need. Be a cheerful giver. But we've forgotten about this, people. Because everybody is lover of themselves. Lover of the uh, 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 page. Everybody want to be famous on YouTube and Instagram. And they got it backwards. Because they don't have the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And the reason why they don't have the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Because they want notoriety. Everybody wants to get rich fast. Everybody wants to be seen. Everybody wants to uh, uh, have their opinion about it, but don't nobody really want to talk about the Word of God. I see a lot of people on, on, on social media, and they just blabber and blabber and blabber. And at one time, uh, uh, you see a Bible in their hand, and then you got some of them, when they are, they got a phone open. You, that's, that's not the same. You need the Word of God. That phone is just, that phone is demonic. You can get scriptures off of it, but it ain't living a thing like the Bible. It's a living Bible. It's a living book. Based on instructing before we leave an earth. So I just wanted to take the time and, 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 and share this with you about the true doctrine of Jesus Christ. Everything I just told you, that's it's simple. 
It's so simple. It's like one, two, three. It's done. It's simple. The word was never supposed to be complicated. All these people want to talk with eight-syllable words. The word was never meant to be hard. I ain't, I ain't seen not one big old, uh, 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 uh big old word, eight-syllable word in the Bible. It was always simple. It was always free. Everybody want to write these books. And all they doing is putting scripture with their words, and then they selling a book for $175. Conferences. They, uh, 300 and some dollar tickets. We got it backwards. We're not uplifting our children. The true job doctrine of Jesus Christ is putting aside the things you love, putting aside the things you like, and basically taking up the cross with him. It's not about having a fancy car, big old house. It's not about having the money in your pocket or wearing Jordans or wearing um, fancy jeans or uh, expensive shirts. It's all supposed to be simple. It's to spread the word, to teach, to share, to show, to lean on his understanding, not your own. The, tr the true doctrine of Jesus Christ. And that's all I just want to share. And if this word happened to miss you, it's because you still don't want to accept the fact that you want to have your own doctrine. You don't want to really... And I'm not trying to tell nobody to follow me. I'm not trying to... So that's why I don't really make so many videos. You can go back on my history and see. I don't make all these these uh, many videos like everybody be on here every day and, uh, so they can get a, a YouTube partnership and get paid by each video they put out. I get on here when I feel a need, a need to, you know? I'm not on here to try to uh, 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 gain uh, uh, subscribers or get rich off of it or to get known. I'm known by Christ. That's good enough for me. Yeah, everybody want to sound smart. Everybody want to uh, uh, sound like they just know all about Christ. And as soon as they click off, they probably smoking a blunt or having something to drink, some liquor, or, or, or doing something they ain't got no business doing because they don't made their money today by making a video by getting uh, gullible people to follow them like they just all into the word, like they just all ordained. I ain't, and everybody that talks on here like me, you can go back and see my page and see I preach in, all, uh, in, in the pulpit. I really do this. I ain't never seen one video everybody talking about the Lord. Well, let me, what church you preach? that when did you get ordained you know or are you just on here because you know a lot of Christians uh, uh, fall suit because that's what Christians do anybody talk about the Lord oh they must be saying they must be righteous that's not true everybody can talk a good game talk is cheap that's why that's why the Bible says faith does not work without deeds. You have to have the deeds in order for it to work for your faith. And a lot of people don't have that. So the true doctrine of Jesus Christ is simple. And you can be saved. All you have to do is just is, is know that he died on the cross for your sins. And when you get saved, you have to maintain it. Because a lot of people feel that they saved. Oh, I'm saved. I can do whatever I want. No matter what, when I die, I'm still going to go to heaven. That's not true. That's a lot of people. They like to uh, uh, They like to keep sinning and sinning. All I got to do is just repent. The Lord will forgive me. Eventually, he'll turn a deaf ear because you're trying to finesse them. You can't finesse God. And that's what a lot of people do because they feel like they need to. Uh, 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 well, if I do something wrong, all I have to do is repent. The Lord will forgive me for it. And he'll throw it in the sea of forgetfulness. And it won't be uh, thought of again. And so it makes it okay and secure. And it secures them so they can be able to go back and do it again. That's a lie. You have to have in your heart that you want to change because he knows your heart before you know it. So if you're going to stop doing something, you need to stop doing it and, 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 and say, okay, I'm going to repent. And then when you feel like doing it again, then you do it again. And then you feel like all you have to do is repent. That's a lie. That's not the doctrine of Jesus Christ. All right. I ain't going to keep this video too long. A lot of y'all attention spans ain't, ain't, ain't that, you know. <laughs> well, if y'all can't read your Bible, it makes you think y'all going to listen to the whole message. That's just how I feel about it. I'm not here to uh, win nobody. If it sounds offensive or if I sound like that type of pastor, that, like he just, whoa, well, hey, you got to accept it. It's the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for nobody. I want to put some salt on your steak. I don't want to put no sugar in your Kool-Aid. 
Because the only thing that's sweet is Jesus. Everything else is just watered down sour, uh, uh, sour patch candies. It's, it's, it's tickling, 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 tickling. I'm not going to tickle, 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 tickle. I'm going to touch you here. Y'all have a great day. God bless you.